On behalf of UMass Memorial Medical Center's Division of Colon and Rectal Surgery, congratulations on taking the initiative to prioritize your health by scheduling a colonoscopy. I'm Dr. Paul Sturrock, one of the team's surgeons, and I'm happy to help you prepare for your colonoscopy. You might ask, why is the prep so important for a colonoscopy? During a colonoscopy, the inner lining of the colon is carefully inspected for polyps, or precancerous growths. In almost all circumstances, these can be safely removed at the time of your colonoscopy, thereby preventing those polyps from growing into a cancer. Quite simply, the purpose of the prep is to flush out the stool inside the colon so that your surgeon has a clear view of the entire colon. If there is stool or residue present, the exam may not be as accurate. If there is too much stool remaining, the examination will be considered incomplete and you may be asked to reschedule and repeat the exam, which no one wants to do. If you have already scheduled your colonoscopy, you should have received written instructions that will review everything in this video. If you did not, call us at 508-334-8195 and we will provide them for you. After scheduling your colonoscopy, you need to purchase over-the-counter items at your pharmacy or supermarket. These include one bottle of Miralax, 238 grams in size, and four Dolcolax laxative tablets. You will also need clear liquids such as water, black coffee, tea, clear juices without any pulp, clear broth, or sports drinks that are not red or purple in color. If you're a diabetic, please choose low sugar drinks. Your prep will begin two days before the procedure. At that time, you will need to stop eating high fiber foods. These include fresh or dried fruits, salads or vegetables, whole wheat, multigrain bread, nuts, seeds such as flax, sunflower and quinoa, beans, onions, popcorn, and fiber supplements. The breakdown products of these foods are more difficult to clear and may clog the instruments used for the test. One day prior to your procedure, you may only have clear liquids by mouth and nothing else. Avoid sports drinks that have red or purple coloring as this can be confused for blood during the test. Italian ice and popsicles are okay to have. That's right, do not eat any solid food or milk products the entire day, the day before your colonoscopy. For example, do not have a bagel, chicken, rice, beans, or any solid food items. Do not have any milk, cream, soy, or non-dairy creamer. And one more thing, while they are a clear liquid, no alcoholic beverages are allowed. It's important to remember to keep yourself well hydrated with plenty of clear liquids throughout the day prior to your colonoscopy. The color of your urine can give you a clue as to whether you were dehydrated. If your urine becomes dark yellow or you feel you're not urinating frequently, you should drink more clear liquids to stay well hydrated. At 4 p.m., it's time to start the prep. Take the four Dolcolax laxative tablets with a clear liquid drink. Then mix the entire bottle of Miralax in 64 ounces of clear liquids and shake well until the Miralax is dissolved. Room temperature liquid works best. Drink eight ounces or one full glass from the Miralax solution every 10 to 15 minutes over the course of one to two hours until you finish the entire amount. If you get nauseated or very full feeling, stop drinking the solution for 20 minutes. Then restart drinking, this time more slowly. If it takes you a little longer to drink the entire Miralax amount, that's okay. After you finish the Miralax solution, the bowel prep should begin to work, so stay near the bathroom as you will start having bowel movements. They may be formed initially, but will become more liquid like diarrhea and eventually they will be watery. Sometimes it can take several hours to start having any bowel movements after drinking the prep and that's totally normal. Just be patient and give it time to work. From 6 to 8 p.m. at night, drink an additional 32 ounces or four full glasses of clear liquids to help flush everything through. For some, the diarrhea will stop and you'll get some sleep. Others may have diarrhea throughout the night, and that's normal too. Rise and shine, it's the morning of your colonoscopy. Do not eat any solid food today. You can take any medications that are normally prescribed in the morning, with the exception of blood thinner medications, with just a sip of water. 
Do not drink any fluid two hours prior to your scheduled arrival time or your procedure may be delayed or even canceled. For example, if your scheduled arrival time is 7.30 a.m., you should not take in anything by mouth after 5.30 a.m. You must arrive at the endoscopy suite at least 30 minutes before your scheduled procedure time. During that time, you will change into a hospital gown and a nurse will review your medical history. You will also meet the anesthesia team who will be providing the sedation. You will have plenty of time to ask any questions you have. When it's showtime, you will be wheeled into the endoscopy suite where your surgeon will review the procedure and then get started. The procedure itself should take roughly 30 to 45 minutes to complete. You will be asleep from the sedation during the procedure and will not experience pain or discomfort. Close your eyes and relax. You've earned it. After the procedure, you'll be wheeled back to recovery where you'll be given a snack and a full report from your colonoscopy. Make sure someone is available to pick you up after the procedure. You will not be able to operate a motor vehicle since you will be receiving sedation for the colonoscopy. Once you get home, you will be able to eat and drink normally and should feel well. If you had any biopsies or polyps, the results from your procedure will be ready in seven to 10 days and you will be able to access them on my chart. If you do not have access to my chart, don't worry, someone from our team will contact you by phone or mail to let you know of your pathology results. If you have questions about any of these instructions, call us at 508-334-8195 and someone from our team will be happy to assist you. Thank you for following these guidelines to help us help you prevent colorectal cancer.